Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Morning Prayer. This is Sunday, the 29th week in Ordinary Time. And bless us as we pray together. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. Yahweh is merciful and kind. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For Yahweh is a great God, a great king over all other gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains as well. The sea belongs to him, for he made it. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. O that today you would listen to Yahweh's voice. Harden not your hearts as Israel did at Meribah, as they did at Massa in the wilderness. For there your ancestors saw everything for 40 years i was angry with them and i said they are a people whose hearts turn away from me they refuse to do what i tell them so i swore in my anger they will never enter my place of rest glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen Yahweh is merciful and kind, O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Yahweh, as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence set our hearts on fire with love for you. Amen. Our hymn is from page 730, hymn number 13. Now that the daylight fills the sky, lift we our hearts to God on high, that he in all we do or say would keep us free from harm this day. May he restrain our tongues, lest strife break forth to mar the peace of life and guard with watchful care our eyes from earth's absorbing vanity. O oh, may our inmost hearts be pure, our thoughts from folly kept secure, the pride of sinful flesh subdued by temperate use of daily food. So we, when this day's work is o'er, and shades of night return once more, our path of trial safely trod, shall give the glory to our God. All praise to God the Father be, all praise eternal Son to thee, whom with the Spirit we adore, one God, both now and evermore. In all you have done, Yahweh, you have made me glad. Alleluia. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. And now, here we are. Standing inside your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a well-built city. Its seamless walls cannot be breached. All the tribes of Israel, the Lord's people, make their pilgrimage there. They come to give thanks to the name of the Lord, as the law requires of Israel. Here stands the thrones where judgment is given. The thrones of the dynasty of David. Pray for peace, O Jerusalem. May all who love this city prosper. O Jerusalem, may there be peace within your walls and prosperity in your palaces. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say, may you have peace. For the sake of the throne house of the Lord our God, I will seek what is best for you, 
O Jerusalem. In all you have done, Yahweh, you have made me glad. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you angels of the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you powers of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, you heavens. Bless the Lord, sun and moon. Bless the Lord, you saints or stars of the sky. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all rain and dew. Bless the Lord, fire and heat. Bless the Lord, scorching wind and bitter cold. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, nights and days. Bless the Lord, light and darkness. Bless the Lord, lightning and clouds. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all the earth. Bless the Lord, mountains and hills. Bless the Lord, everything growing from the earth. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, springs of water. Bless the Lord, seas and rivers. Bless the Lord, all water creatures. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, birds of the air. Bless the Lord, beasts of the wild. Bless the Lord, flocks and herds. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, men and women everywhere. Bless the Lord, O Israel. Bless the Lord, priests and servants of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Lord, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael. Praise and exalt him above all forever. In all you have done, Yahweh, you have made me glad. Alleluia. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Lord Most High. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning, your faithfulness in the evening, accompanied by a ten-stringed harp and the melody of the lyre. You thrill me, Lord, with all you have done for me. I sing for joy because of what you have done. O oh Lord, what great works you do, and how deep are your thoughts. Only a simpleton would not know, and only a fool would not understand this. Though the wicked sprout like weeds, and evildoers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, O oh Lord, be exalted forever. Your enemies, Lord, will surely perish. All evildoers will be scattered, but you have made me as strong as a wild ox. You have anointed me with the finest oil. My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears heard the defeat of my wicked opponents. But the godly will flourish like palm trees and grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon. For they are transplanted to the Lord's own house they flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, they will produce fruit. They will remain vital and green. They will declare the Lord is just. He is my rock. There is no evil in him. In all you have done, Yahweh, you have made me glad. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In all you have done, Yahweh, you have made me glad. Alleluia. A reading from Colossians chapter 1. May God our Father give you grace and peace. We always pray for you, and we give thanks to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For you have, we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and your love for all God's people which come from your confident hope of what God has reserved for you in heaven. You have had this expectation ever since you first heard the truth of the good news. This same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It is bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives, just as it changed your lives from the day you first heard and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. 
God has raised up for us a mighty Savior. He has promised through his prophets in ages past. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as he promised through his prophets in ages past. Alleluia. We praise you, merciful God, for the mighty love which the Paschal Mystery represents. As we rejoice this morning in your presence, we thank you for your boundless gifts. For the presence of Christ in our weakness and suffering, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the faithful ministry of word and sacrament in your church, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the sacrifices that others have made to benefit us, we give you thanks, Lord God and for the opportunities we have to help and to give and to heal. We give you thanks, Lord God. That our concerns for others reflect the self-giving love of Christ, not only in our prayer, but also in our practice. In particular, this morning, we pray for the following needs. For those subjected to tyranny and oppression, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who are wounded and injured, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who today are facing death, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who may be our enemies, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And for the witness of the Christian Church in Central and South America, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. Lord, help us this day be humble. May we put our own self-pride aside and put on the humility of Christ. Be with all those suffering physical pain and chronic illnesses. Grant them your peace and your healing. Be with those that are suffering spiritually, mentally. Give them peace and rest. And we pray today especially for families that have upset, distress, and issues going on that tear us apart. Lord, bring healing and restoration. With confidence, we lift all our needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer our Savior has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Creator of the universe, when you raised your servant Jesus, you made him the light of the nations. 
May the salvation he brings to us shine out to the ends of the earth. And may your name be blessed and glorified forever and ever. Amen. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels and all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim, sing an endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you did not abhor the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory, and we believe you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with all your saints into everlasting glory. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us. And in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and ordain his peace. May souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, thank you for being with me this Sunday morning in prayer. What a blessing. What a blessing it is to give thanks and praise to our God first thing in the morning. May God bless you in all that you do. And be a blessing to someone else on this glorious day. Amen.